we're beginning to embark on some really important work in the Puget Sound region focused on safety. In fact, we're excited with the fact that Puget Sound region recently secured a $5 million grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation to develop the region's first safety plan. And we've also been able to secure resources for a number of our cities and counties to also develop safety plans at the local levels. All the trends when it comes to vehicular, pedestrian, bicycle safety and serious injuries, deaths, it's headed in the wrong direction in our region. So there's a lot of work to do. I'd love to have your thoughts, Gil, on where we should start and uh, some of your observations on how we can uh, be able to, to reach Vision Zero in the Puget Sound region. This is a critical point. It's very, very important because it affects everybody. For example, we know that the magic pill to have people that are healthier and happier is to be physically active. We also know that the only way to be physically active, large groups of the population, is if people walk or bike as a normal part of everyday life. But people are terrified because many people are being killed or are being injured. Uh, and this doesn't have to happen. This is not a technical issue. There are even cities in the U.S., like Hoboken, New Jersey, hmm. that has eliminated all people dying in traffic incidents. By the way, there are incidents, not accidents, because accidents is when they cannot be avoided. All of them can be avoided. So, by the way, this affects everybody. Some of the municipalities in the region, some cities have 10,000 people, others 50,000, others half a million. We need to make streets safe everywhere. The wealthy, the poor, people are dying young and old and fat and skinny, everybody. So we need to make it safe. For example, there is nothing that would have as much impact as to having maximum speed limit in all of the neighborhoods, 20 miles an hour. Not because 20 is plenty sounds nice, but because if a driver hits up a person at 20 miles an hour, there is only 5% probability of being killed. At 40 miles an hour, which doesn't sound that much, it's over 80%. So this is not a technical issue, it's a political. How many people are elected officials willing to allow to be killed? But this is something that is very, very important. So these are some of the things that need to be done. And this is going to be safe. This is not pro-car, anti-car. No, it's about everybody. Because, for example, walking. Every single trip begins and then walking. We walk to the cars. We walk to public transit. We walk to places. So making it safe and enjoyable is almost like a human right. 